Katie and the Water Lily Pond, A Magical Journey Through Five Monet Masterpieces by James Mayhew. Katie and Grandma were visiting the art gallery. Look, there's a competition, said Grandma. What fun! You have to paint a picture like Claude Monet, the famous artist. Can I have a go? asked Katie. I'm quite good at art. There's not much time, said Grandma. The judging is at three o'clock today. Katie and Grandma decided to visit the Claude Monet exhibition, but Grandma needed a rest first. So Katie looked at the pictures by herself. I bet I could paint a picture like that, she said. If I just had some paints. You can use mine, called a voice. Katie looked around, but the gallery seemed empty. Over here, ma chérie, said the voice. It seemed to be coming from a picture called In the Woods at Giverny. Katie saw that Grandma was snoozing, so she stepped through the frame and into the painting. That's a lovely picture, Katie said to the lady who was painting. My sister Blanche was taught by Monet, said the lady reading a book. Claude Monet, the famous painter, asked Katie. That's right, said Blanche. Would you like me to teach you? Blanche showed Katie how to mix the paints on the palette, how to use the different brushes, and how to fold up the easel. Then she gave Katie some paper to paint on. Now you are ready, said Blanche. Off you go, and good luck with the competition. Thank you, said Katie, jumping back into the gallery with the painting things. Katie looked around for ideas. She saw a picture of some boats on a river called Bathers at La Grenier. I could paint the view from a boat, said Katie. There were so many boats to choose from. Katie clambered into one and decided to row down the river a little ways and to look for the perfect view. Soon, Katie found just the right place and began painting. It was going very well until Katie heard a strange gurgling noise. Oh no, she yelled. The boat is leaking. Katie tried to roll back to the riverbank, but it was too far. Over here, shouted some bathers on a jetty. Katie managed to reach them just before the boat sank. Katie rescued her painting things, but her picture had floated far away. Boats are too much bother, said Katie. I'm going to try something else. Back in the gallery, Katie saw a picture of a street filled with people waving flags and cheering. It was called the Rue Montaguet in Paris. Katie couldn't resist climbing inside. Katie found herself on the balcony of a grand hotel. People were waving flags from the windows while down below a brass band was playing. I'm going to paint the parade, said Katie. Katie ran down some steps onto the street and started painting. The brass band got closer and closer. The band got louder and louder as it marched straight towards her. Suddenly, Katie's picture was caught on the end of a trombone. Then it was flipped up into the air and crash. Her picture was smashed between two symbols and before Katie could catch it, her picture disappeared into a tuba. Good grief, said Katie, as the band marched off through the crowds. I need to find a nice, quiet picture with no one in it. So she ran back to the hotel steps and into the gallery. Katie looked around and spotted a lovely painting called Path Through the Poppies. What could go wrong there, she said as she clambered through the frame. Katie skipped through the field of poppies and started to paint. It was so peaceful listening to bird song and the gentle mooing of a cow. Hmm, it's a rather large cow and it has very big horns. Hang on, Katie gasped. That's not a cow. It's a bull. Suddenly, she remembered she was wearing a red coat. Bulls hate red, she wailed. The bull started chasing Katie, snorting as he ran. Katie took a giant leap and jumped into the gallery. Phew, Katie said. 
she looked back to her painting stuck on one of the bull's horns. You can keep it, she laughed. But time was ticking by, and Katie saw it was nearly three o'clock. I'll have one last try, she said. The nearest Monet picture was called the Water Lily Pond. Here we go, said Katie, climbing inside. Katie saw she was in a beautiful garden. No boats, no brass bands, no bulls. Perfect, said Katie. Ribbit, said a frog. Hello, frog, said Katie. Keep still and I'll put you in my painting. Katie started painting, but the frog leapt away across the lily pads, chasing a dragonfly. Come back, called Katie. Katie tried to follow him, but couldn't move. Her feet were stuck in the mud. She fell down with a splat, and her picture fluttered into the pond. Oh, I give up, said Katie, picking up the pond-soaked picture. Painting like Monet is just too hard. She gathered everything up and went back into the gallery where she returned the painting things back to Blanche. Ma chérie, said Blanche, holding up Katie's soggy picture. That is beautiful. Katie saw that her paints had smudged together and her picture did look good. I'm just in time for the competition, said Katie. Thanks for the paints and the art lesson. Katie dashed to where the judging was taking place. A water lily pond, exclaimed the judges when they saw her picture. It's just like Monet. You win first prize. They presented Katie with a lovely set of paints. Oh, thank you, said Katie. I will have lots of fun with these. What a wonderful painting, said Grandma, when Katie showed her the picture. How did you do it? Well, I had sort of a lesson, said Katie. Would you let me teach you? That would be nice, said Grandma. But let's go and have a piece of cake first. And so they did.